I'm Denny Edwards. I am the Southeast America product specialist for Behringer. Uh, this is the X32. It is a 32 channel input mixer. It has 16 and more outputs. It has motorized faders. It has a design by Midas preamp and lots of other uh, tricks, uh, effects, mute groups, programmable buttons and more. It does have 16 inputs, two banks of inputs here, one through 16. Uh, then 17 through 32. It has DCAs, digital controlled amplifiers. I call them magic fingers. So you have seven mics for your drums and you want to record, uh, you want to keep those in relationship but you want to turn up just the drums. You select the DCA button and then you come here and you select, I'm going to control all of these channels with this one fader. It has 16 aux groups. Uh, you can select a channel then you can use the faders or these knobs. So you have this one right here controlling it. Programmable buttons to do what you'd like to do. They can just call up a separate page, like this one is an equalizer. Designed by Midas, very key on a digital mixer is the gain stage, the mic preamp, all of the EQ settings, uh, compressor, they're all memorized in the scenes. There's two different applications of CAT5 on the, this mixing board. As you see on the back of the mixer, we have the AES50 uh, A and B inputs and interfaces. That is part of the Clark Technic um, uh, merger onto this product. It is a, a, um, the ability to take 32 uh, inputs and 16 outputs and go back and forth uh, with just a single CAT5 cable. So it eliminates the need to have a ground isolated snakes and all of these stage boxes and very expensive copper. Uh, besides the AES-50, the uh, Ultralink, we have AES-EBU for digital two track out. Uh, we, the mixing board is at 44.1 or 48K, you can select that. We have MIDI in and out as well. Uh, allow you to do controlling of selecting scenes remotely with a foot controller or the traditional MIDI in and out control stuff. If you look right here on the mixing board, we have the remote control that will do the, um, the Mackie Pro Tools uh, protocols. We press this button, it becomes a, a control surface. And then we also have remote control options with USB. You can use a computer with the software that we'll provide at no charge to control what's in the mixer. It allows you to use a, like a bigger screen on a laptop or a desktop computer to see what's going on inside the board. The Ethernet port is really amazing. You can plug it directly into a very cost efficient uh, network wireless router. You don't need a computer. Uh, you don't need any other interface. Then you can use an iPad. We have it, we're developing an iPad app that will be of no charge as well. So now, while you're on stage, whether you're the band, you can adjust all of your mixes, your monitor mixes, the inputs, and not have to run back and forth to the soundboard to make that adjustment. The scribble strips are a great way, instead of using mixer duct tape and mar marking and doing everything, you can tell it what it is. Is it a drum? Is it a snare drum? Is it blue for drums that could coordinate with a blue output? And those are also uh, uh, remembered in the scenes so that if you're a sound man and you're doing a show with five different bands and you've done five sound checks, you can pre-program those ahead of time, have them ready, those all are recalled instantly. Every channel, of everything has this input section. It has gain 48 volt phantom power, phase reversal, has a low cut filter, it has a uh, gate or a ducker, it also has a compressor and an expander. It also has a multi-band, four band EQ, okay, on every channel. Now that's not just an input channel, that is also aux buses and outputs as well. I believe I added it up. Uh, it would take 17 stereo compressors to do what this does. Uh, then we have eight racks of stereo effects processors. You can, uh, we have four racks set aside for uh, e equalizers. You can use those for inserts. You can insert them on an aux bus, use it for a graphic EQ, uh, for a monitor mix that will go then to a power amp and then a four wedge or you can use them as a stereo EQ on an output bus uh, to go to a mains or to different levels. You can also delay those outputs. So if you have speaker stacks at different parts in the venue, you can time delay them as well. 
What's really good about the screen here is while there is one, it is not screen driven, it's mixer board driven. It's you're the sound man, what are you doing? You can see that quickly on the screen. I want to adjust the equalizer of channel one. You don't have to paginate through uh, this little screen. You simply select channel one, then you hit view on the equalizer, and now you'll see the equalizer in full view to adjust. You're now adjusting EQs and mics. You don't have to re-go through and reselect channels. All you do is, is select the subsequent channels and you're still viewing the equalizer. Same thing with the compressor and the gates. They all have view buttons that are just for that. It calls up the parameters quick. Whatever you're working on, there is a view button. I think that is one of the number one ease of use features of this mixing board. Thanks for watching this uh, video on the X32. You guys have any more questions or need more info, uh, you can check out the uniquesquared.com uh, uh, website or Behringer's website.